So here's a scenario. We have a NiFi development environment and a NiFi production environment. In the middle, we have NiFi registry. How can we enable these environments to exchange flow files and then being reviewed and imported in production? Let's go ahead and demonstrate how we can make this happen. Before we start, you got to make sure you have all the assets or resources installed on your local. If you don't know how to, follow the link in the description where we demonstrate how we can set up our local environment. So what we have here, we have our NiFi development environment, we have our NiFi registry and our NiFi production flow. We're going to first drag on a canvas a process group in our developing environment and we're going to call it demo PG. Save it, navigate inside it and add two elements, a generate flow file and an app, a log attribute. Link them together and jump into the generate flow file and change the run schedule from 0 to 300. Apply, disable the log attribute, exit the group and now click right on it and let's start version control of it. Start version control, let's call it demo pg, uh, my description and add the version comment, call it initial. Save and we can see that the flow is now versioned. Let's visit the NIFA registry, do a refresh here. We can see that the flow appears with the same commit and the description. Let's go ahead in production now, assuming that we're happy with what we've done so far. And let's import it. The way you do it, it you drag on a canvas the process group. And now instead of using a template, you want to use import from registry. So right now you see out of the box, we get the demo bucket and the flow name. Click on the version you want to import. In our case, is the single one, which is the initial and import. Let's navigate in it and start this flow. Right now you see we get this green button saying, yep, we're up to date. But assuming somebody says, I don't want this to run every 300 seconds. How do we enable that? Let's go now and navigate to our dev environment. Click on configure and make this run every second. Great. Leave the group and you can see right now it tells us that we are out of sync. We have local changes that are not committed. So the, how do we commit them to the registry? Commit local changes and give the version comments. You want a second? Save and now we can see that registry a new version is added with the correct commit comment. Let's go now and see how we can apply the changes in production without having to make any change inside the processor. We don't have to change the code. We don't have to manually have to stop the processor, change the schedule to reflect the changes. The way you do it, you click right on it and you go to version. Right now you see this menu changed. It we recognize that we have more than one, one version. And in the same time, we get this uh, red arrow back saying a newer version of the flow, it's available. So this kind of does know, hey, uh, what do you want to do? Um, you want to change your version? So you click on change version control and now we select the version we want to change to change. This will stop all the processes that are affected by the change and then make the change and restart. We can see that the process group version has been changed. And if we look here, is starting to generate multiple flow files every second because the schedule change. All this action that we did in the front end can be done programmatically and we demonstrated that in, in the past tutorial. So this is how you bring a flow from a dev environment or a staging environment through the intermediary uh, NiFi registry and you promote it to your production instance. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and I'll see you in the next one.